how to homeschool different ages, I had I wanted to go a little bit deeper into some of these strategies. So I'm going to do a couple of these videos like extensions so that you understand some of the things that I'm talking about. Let's talk about that tape for a second. You're going to get poster board. And the reason that this is so um, important is when you when you're outnumbered by kids, you you want your little kids safe and you want them to have their own special time with you and you can't be in two places at the same time so if you can create a tape for them and an activity that you practice together for a few days and then you release them to do that activity for a week or two by themselves you do a couple things you're teaching your child to be independent you're also releasing yourself to do other things. So you wanna work smarter when you're outnumbered by your kids. You don't wanna work so hard. So what I did is I got an old fashioned tape recorder. Yes, I have gray hair. Yes, I grew up with cassette tapes, but it's okay. They, they still make them. Um, there's a link down below. Anytime you buy anything from any of the links that I put below, it's either something that I highly recommend I might be an affiliate to them, which means that they give me a couple pennies if you purchase through the link. It doesn't cost you anything, but that is that is an affiliate link below. And sometimes there are things that um, I just have created myself. So you're gonna a piece of poster board and a cassette recorder and a cassette tape. And I'm gonna make a small one right here. My name is Becky. And so what I would do with the child is I'd think about this, what are some skills that I want my child to learn this week? Oh, and my camera's backwards, that's handy, but that's okay, you can read backwards because you've got magic skills. So I put, I always started the poster time with the kids' names and I'll try and write backwards if I've got super skills, um, which you can do that too. So here's B, E, See, you can write backwards. See, Becky. So you make a you make a video or a poster with the kid's name on it. And you sit and I'm gonna put some other things on there. So maybe we're learning, and this is sloppy because I'm doing it on the fly. Um, we're gonna do some shapes. We're gonna do a caterpillar. We're gonna do some numbers. And we would take the time to make this and color it together. Oh, I did the numbers backwards again. You don't mind, okay? Because I'm a real life homeschool mom. I'm not like a professional um, video maker. I'm just downloading all my gray haired knowledge for you. Okay, so again, this is how you can teach multiple ages and stages. You want to book, build in pockets of things that your kids can do without you so that you can teach them to be independent and you're again releasing yourself. So you've got this poster and it's a, one of those big poster boards. And so you put things on there together, how to spell their name. It could be sight words. It could be um, activities that you want them to do like a lacing activity or a tying activity. On this gentle or simple um, example, we've got learning how to spell our name, counting, shape recognition, and we as homeschoolers um, pretend you're doing a unit on insects. So you, you do the poster and you color it and you get it all beautiful together for your child. This is something that I always did after the kids went to bed at night. I would just make their poster. And you can be create you can do this cut and paste on a computer, or cut and paste from magazines. Be creative with the poster. This part doesn't really as matter as much as the recording part. So now you have the poster and you sit down and you press play, I mean record on the tape recorder and you say the child's name. Becky, do you see this poster? I made it just for you because I love you. Do you like your poster? And they would say, uh-huh. Well, I am gonna show you what you're gonna do with your poster. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Becky, what's your name? Becky, how do you spell your name? B, do you see the B? 
E, K, K, I. Look at that, you have two of the same letters in the middle of your name. Can you say K, K? And you walk your child through their poster. Do you see the shapes on your poster? What shapes do you see? Circle, triangle, square. How many points does the triangle have when you walk them through the space? You walk them through. Hey, let's count to 20 together. Ready? One, two. Let's count in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. Let's count in French. Un, deux, trois. Get, get creative, okay? Do you see this? What is this? A caterpillar. And after a caterpillar eats and grows, what does a caterpillar turn into? A butterfly. Be creative with your poster. The, the magic of this is that you created something unique and special for your child and they feel so loved, so loved. This, is, this was magic time with my kids. Then when you record it with their voice and your voice, when they listen to it later, you're right there with them. They still feel you. It's amazing. And when the little brothers or sisters or dogs make noise in the background, it just adds this reality to it. It's beautiful. So try that. Try making a poster for your kids that you record together and that they then listen to two to five times a week, depending on your child. So I made the poster time for my kids or the tape time for my kids to be 20 minute-ish pockets of activities. We would practice them together. And then when they were released to do them on their own, I always would, okay, we're gonna practice this for three days. We're gonna two more days of practice, one more day of practice. Tomorrow, you're gonna do this all by yourself. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I know you can do just this is coaching and building up, right? And um, the tapes can vary on um, things like pre-reading things. Maybe they're just activities where, um, okay, we're in the room and I'm gonna hide this, this under the sofa cushions can you find it now the first time you make that video they're going to know exactly where it is the next time you're going to hide it and they're not going to know where it is so you can hide things you can make a a color chart and you can say go find something purple go be creative with this and think of things that skills that your child needs to learn um Another great activity that you can do for tape time in this whole theme of how you can homeschool different ages and what you can do with your littles is you can have that tape be activities, physical activities that they need to do. Things that strengthen their core, sit-ups, um, crab walks, army crawls, maybe they're jump roping if your house is big enough or you have a safe place that they can jump rope. Um, maybe they have the tape and they have to ride their tricycle or their bicycle around it, you know, seven times in this direction, three times in that direction, etc. cetera. Um, it's magic when you use that kind of a tool and then you empower your child with the recording button and the stopping button but give them clear directions and train them how to do it. That's, that's the piece that most people are missing is that they don't take the time to train their kids um, in how to handle themselves through that independent playtime. It doesn't just magically happen that your child will go sit in their room and play for two hours um, independently, contentedly, and filled with excitement and then put their things back where they belong. That's something that you teach your child how to do. So um, use this strategy, potentially, of creating a tape with an actual old cassette player. I think they're about 30 bucks and then cassettes are not, there's a couple bucks a piece. 
um, and you can use the tape over and over again or you can pop the little plastic off so that you can't record over them because they're priceless when your kids are older and taller than you and they have got voices like men if they're boys um, anyway that that's one of my super secret um, tips for dealing with teaching multiple ages and stages is being really good at training the kids to be independent in small chunks of time. 20 minutes is all you need to teach math to an older child or to explain a writing assignment or to answer questions about some scientific experiment that you're running. So ready? Make a tape and let me know how it works. I love to hear back from you and I will see you next time. Bye.